Hey, what's up, my YouTube family? It's your main DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment coming to you with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making a dance hall beat on the MPC 4000. Yesterday, we released a video making a boombox beat uh, from scratch on the MPC or the legendary MPC 3000. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that video out. Um, but um, let me know in your comments below if you own the MPC 4000. Um, I like to call this a full overall machine. Is a fantastic uh one of the most um fantastic uh mpcs ever released in my opinion um in a lot of features that i wish that all the mpcs especially like the mpc 3000 had um for instance um this machine allowed you to sample in stereo and let you output on your individual in mono if you decide you want to do it in mono or in stereo uh something that uh, my beloved uh, mpc 3000 doesn't allow you to do if you uh, sample into stereo, you definitely stuck with um, using your individual. You have to use two two tracks or two channels on your individual because it's only allow you to other outputs in stereo or output in mono. Sounds kind of confusing, but if you own uh, an MPC 3000, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you sample into a stereo, uh, when you're trying to use your individual outputs, it only allowed you to output in stereo. With this machine, it allows you to sample in stereo, but, but allows you to output in mono, which is great. I love that feature about the MPC 4000. Uh, like I said, something that a lot of these older MPCs doesn't have. Um, but nevertheless, we're not gonna we're gonna go straight into the into what this video is all about. We're gonna be making a dance hall beat. Um, and you know, before we make the beat, dance hall came you know came a long way uh, from what dance hall used to be in the early 90s um you know a lot of changes in dance hall music it got a lot into pop mix type of uh you know uh dance hall back in the days was uh, mostly um let me forget if i find of um find a kick and uh All right, so so if we break down what '90s uh, dance hall music was, most of the drum pattern was but that's gone. <laughs> most of the dance hall uh, music right now is um, it's kind of a mix of uh, trap, hip hop, um, kind of a pop you know mix that's what dance hall be, um, becomes um which i criticize but i do understand that i mean it's not gonna always be uh a certain type of music will not always be the same it's gonna have changes um things gonna change but um of course i do miss the those 90s dance hall you know but definitely we're gonna be making the newer type of dance hall today so we're gonna break it down so let's go ahead and do that so like i said it's mixed with a lot of pop so you will hear a lot of pop instruments yes all right so let's go ahead our bpms are set to 100 bpms and like i said in our previous videos when I'm making beats, everything that I do, I put it on separate tracks. Whether I'm doing uh, open hi-hats, um, uh, close hi-hats, everything is separate tracks because when I'm ready to mix down, I want to have full control over everything. So let's go ahead and... Uh All right, so we're going to put that in. All right, so we have that instrument. So we're gonna put this in. My bad. All 
All right. Uh, so we have that stab. We're gonna add an eight or eight right in the front, right there. Like I said yesterday, um, in the video that we did yesterday, um, it all depends how I feel in the mood, where I want to start my beat. I can start my beat from a hi hat. I can start my beat from any instrument, a bass line, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just where the inspiration is at the moment. This definitely kind of a, uh, you know, old school dance hall bass line. Yeah. So you guys can see where we're going with this. So we can... All right, we're going to put that in. Fantastic. All right, we uh once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button for more interested videos um, just like this. And I would like to take the time out to thank all my subscribers for taking the time out and helping this channel grow. Um, we have some... We can... Uh, some more on that hi hat. All right, make sure keep... Keeping an eye on the level. So we're going to go ahead and... All right, just got a little confusing to the old dance hall. <laughs> so we're going to do... Uh... All That's what we're going to do. Definitely. All right, so we got some high hats. Um, let me see if I can turn down those high hats. All right. So we're gonna put in some high hats. All right. Um, let's do those high hats differently. All right, we need to find where those high hats was. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put those high hats um, in the right track. That's that's a lot better. Alright, so we have this uh, drum loop that we're going to add right on the bottom of that. Nice. 
All right, yeah, as, as you guys can see, uh, we'll be going with this right now. in let's see if we can put this in right now all right We could put in this sound right here. You know, it's the same thing I'm saying. You know, dance hall um, came a long way. Um, there's so many changes that uh, happened in dance hall. Like a lot of these instruments are from like pop music. That's definitely like pop type of stuff. You know, but um, it's 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 awesome. Um, you know, um, I prefer the old school dance hall music, but um, you know, like I said, you got to go with the punches. Um. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in as the color piece. This in. All right, I think I used that instrument um, let me find out where it's at. I did use that instrument on something else, so it's not allowing me. That's cool. So we're going to go ahead and erase uh, 9. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, this, you, you see where we're going with this right now. All right, so I'll mute this and see what we can put in. Um, we can put this in. This kind of more like a fill in. Let's see how that goes in there. Beautiful. So we have um, some fast hi hats. We can put this in. All right. So. Let's put those hi-hats um, in the right um, output. Um, output three. Output three. All right, so right now we have that on the output. So we have full control when we're ready to mix. All right, we're just gonna turn it down. We go into... Yeah. 
Beautiful, beautiful. You know, when you're making a beat, um, so much people go crazy adding a lot of stuff, um, unnecessary stuff. So sometimes you want to keep it basic. I'm the type that, you know, I like to add a lot of low stuff. But if so many things that's going to go, maybe on the post-production, is I'm probably going to delete it. Oh, it's probably going to go very, very low into the instrument that like you can barely hear it. Um, you know, you can feel it, <laughs> that it's there, that something is there in the space, but you can't really hear it like that. Um, so, um, but you can't go crazy adding too much stuff. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make this beat um, in a Rintis beat in the MPC 4000. Um, and I'm going to play this beat at the end of the video. So here we go. Alright, so there you had it, your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, thumbs up this video. I would like to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. It's your man DJ Roxy. Until next time.